This video is intended as a quick overview of the ATS 600 and its new functions in the firmware 1.1 and how those can be used in SA. So if you open SA and you want to add an ATS 600, simply navigate to the instrument tab, tool tab and press the add button. It'll come up and ideally it'll be the only instrument, but you can see it from the instrument list. You pick the instrument and then set add. You can then connect immediately or if you want to change the IP, you can hit the down arrow and say laser trackers. Pick your instrument list in case you have multiple instruments in the job file. And when you do that, a connection dialog will open. And this allows you to change the IP address of the instrument if you're using a wireless connection or have manually changed it. You can also use the discover IP button, which will automatically detect the instrument if it's on the network, and it'll show you the serial number. And then all you have to do is connect. By default, the instrument will open the instrument toolbar, but it may not, uh, if depending on what you, you last used. It can be undocked, and it will show up as a little icon in the taskbar, and you can bring it up, and this will be the full interface. And we'll talk about that in a different video. But to return to the toolbar, simply press this little button at the bottom right. From the toolbar, you would want to make sure that you have the surface reflector uh, target defined. That uh, allows you to measure without um, a reflector, just directly from the wall or a, an, a, an object directly. And in order to define a region to scan, you use a little drive beam button. And this button right here next to our beam state, the drive beam, will bring up the overview camera, which is really the control for defining regions. And you can define either full polygon regions or linear regions, which are defined as a rectangle along a guideline. So I'm going to define a full rectangular region around this reflectivity target. To do that, I'll hit the Add Region and click in the overview camera to define a region around my target. And as you see, it's still connected to my mouse. You right click to complete the selection. And as soon as I do that, you'll see it went ahead and measured the four corner points to define the distance to that region. And then you can define the density of the scan that you'd like to perform um, in that area. So I'm going to crank that down quite a bit so that we can actually detect this target more easily. And you can also navigate around with the little navigation tool here. There's one other thing that's really kind of neat about this navigation tool, which is that you can directly measure points here by selecting this little measure button. When you do that, you can click in the graphics and directly measure points in SA by just simply clicking where you want to measure and triggering a measurement. So you can define an area just simply by clicking in the graphics. But as soon as you have a, a region defined in your overview camera, you can close that. And now to scan, just simply press this little red OVC scan button. And it should initiate the scan. Whatever scan, either a polygon or a line or any combination of polygons and lines, can be immediately scanned by pressing that OVC button. And as you see, the cloud is now being uh, scanned and is arriving in SA. And um, there you go. So that's really all there is to defining a scan region and measuring it. We have a target detection button at the top, also on the instrument panel. If you want to define rectangles or circles, you can. So by default, it's a rectangular selection zone. And I'm just going to use that to detect my intensity target. So I'm going to select some points and press Enter. And it detects that target. So that's just an introduction to some of the basic functions of the ATS-600. Um, beyond that, you have your regular measurement controls, and you can also scan spheres using this little sphere scan target uh, reflector. So um, that's all you really need to know as far as basic operations. When you want to do more complex things, you'll probably want to bring up the full interface and define a measurement profile with a saved region. So that's the way that you would do that. And we'll talk about that more in another video.